Captain's Log USS Endeavor approaching the star system Wolf 359 on a routine survey mission. There are two planets orbiting the Red Dwarf Star. Signals received by Starfleet have indicated a civilization there. Starfleet wants them contacted. Approaching the inner planet. All is quiet. I am reading a space station and numerous smaller satellites. Surface shows well-designed cities. There is a curiosity. I am reading robots but no humanoids in the cities. Some pockets in the countryside on the second continent. Stay out of sight of the space station for now. We will contact them when ready. Description please. It is gigantic, with two oppositely rotating cylinders attached to a central hub. Population appears to be a few thousand. Captain they are O'Neill cylinders, a hypothetical type of satellite habitat from Earth history, though it seems they actually developed them. Why do they rotate in opposite directions? One would create gyroscopic forces that would turn the whole station. By rotating two of them in opposite directions that force is negated. They generate a type of artificial gravity this way. Inside the cylinders would be habitats if I am right. Commander, something disturbing. An alien warship has entered orbit around our planet. This is what we have always feared. Contact them. They are requesting to transport a representative from here onto their ship. They said they don't need a ship. I am not sure what they mean. I will transport aboard. Ask for instructions on how to do this. Have the duty officer take over. Should you be going over there alone? We don't have any choice. Welcome aboard the Endeavour. This gentleman will guide you to the conference room. Do you mean I am not a prisoner here? No, you are our guest. We'll help you out on anything you need. The captain will fill you in. Welcome aboard the Endeavour. I am Captain Rocky Steel. How may I address you? I am Space Station Manager Lily Groom. I don't understand what is going on here. I thought you brought me on board to give us your terms. Our terms? I see you don't understand us. We represent the United Federation of Planets. We are principally explorers, and are here to learn more about you. We are forbidden from interfering with your planet. That's a relief. We are hardly in a position to defend ourselves since the war started. What war is that? We have not detected anything. Some time ago we had a thriving civilization. We had built this space station for extra habitat, though it was never finished. We were attacked by creatures with stinging tentacles, devouring our people relentlessly. We had a few thousand technicians on the station at the time. We have managed to stay alive up here, that's all. Our systems are failing, and we are afraid that this station may soon fall out of the sky. With your permission, I would like to send engineers over. Maybe there is something we can do to help. That's most generous, Captain. I would also like to have a visit from you at the station. In the meantime I have selected an officer here to give you a tour of the ship. I was just curious. What is that device that brought us over here? We call it a transporter. It is a matter energy device. Well this is our control room. Our main one. We had space sensors operating but unfortunately we cannot read much on the surface. We have found at least pockets of people on the ground, most of them on the continent without the cities. That's surprising. Few go there because of the geologic instability. Let us continue. I will take you to one of the habitats.
This is one of the habitats. We moved a variety of wildlife here, fortunately, before disaster struck and the predators attacked. We also moved vegetation as you can see. We won't land as it is hard to match the rotation of the cylinder with the ship. It's beautiful. We had a theory about this type of habitat on Earth but it never came to fruition. We created a different type of artificial gravity. I want science teams on the ground to investigate conditions there, both on the main continent and the other one. Science officer, can you send teams to the outer planet as well? I am ready with two teams, one for geology and one for biology. Excellent. See to it immediately. All teams are to be armed. Captain, I am reading an odd life form, only on the main continent. It looks predatory and dangerous. That may be the dangerous creature we were told about. I want a sample put into isolation for study. Readings everyone. I want geological surveys too. I am reading technology, but only primitive structures. Look around everyone. Phasers on stun. We are from the United Federation of Planets. We would like to learn more about you. Greetings, I am Max Tans. Come over to my heart if you will. We are trying to help your people. I would like to know why you live in huts here. I can feel a vibration. What is causing that? This continent is geologically unstable. Quakes are frequent. We moved here to escape the creatures. As far as we know, we are the only ones left alive. There are some alive on the space station. Excuse me, we have some really interesting data. I am sorry. We didn't mean to intrude. Come on in. Sit and be comfortable. This continent is made up of several tectonic plates, all of which are grinding against each other. Earthquakes are common. The constant grinding is causing high levels of infrasound. You may have noticed a vibration. That is what you are feeling. You learn to live with it. It is better than being eaten. Heads up everyone. We all know there is some kind of alien creature here and it is deadly. There are robots and androids working on the buildings. A very sophisticated technology. Look that appears to be one of them.
It does not look real. We'll get it to the science lab. Greetings space travelers. So you know where our creators are? We miss them. We miss them? We were created to serve them and now they are gone. Can you help us? We are trying to do just that. Can you tell us what happened? They were attacked by vicious things that ate them. We miss them. We want to be with them. We will see what we can do. It looks like they care about their masters. I am rather surprised. I think there is more to this than what we see here. Flight log. We have been temporarily diverted to investigate a comet along with asteroids we saw heading away from the system. After taking samples we should join the other shuttle on the surface. Look at it. Magnificent isn't it? Yes it is. You are on the list for the spacewalk, you and Haley Phillips. Go ahead and get suited up. We'll go to the comet first. What are our orders? Does the captain want samples? Yes take samples of the comet and then one of the asteroids. Use full containment. I never thought growing up that I would step onto the surface of a comet. It's a special privilege. Few have attempted it. I am reading biology here. There was life frozen inside the iceberg. I will gather up some of these rocks. We should compare them to the asteroids. That should do it. We will have the ship's lab go over them. Message from the shuttle. We are to return to the shuttle, and then redock with the Endeavour. Tell them to send a message, we have found life in the comet. 